Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost and this on this channel we're talking about um, rapid and transformational healing from narcissistic abuse, clearing trauma, understanding the truth spiritually, emotionally, physically, energetically and living our living fully now coming into our authentic power and sovereignty and truth living in alignment with that understanding our relationship with the divine manifestation and how to live abundantly and fully now fully expressed fully you reclaim yourself so i've got a very important topic to discuss on this financial stuff and it won't be what you've heard before what you want to hear i mean not 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 what you think you're going to hear yeah, because we all understand financial abuse is one of the worst things that they do to us, narcissists. That there's no trap worse than being put into poverty. Mm -hmm. You either go into poverty because they detonate you so much and you're so traumatised you can't work. Or they withhold or manipulate your money in a way that you find yourself. I mean, I've been in all of this, you know, in so much debt or in like you know, things that he said they'd help you with or you've partnered on, the whole thing. Financial abuse is absolutely a disgrace. And what it does to you is put you in chronic survival mode, which you're already in when you're being narcissistically abused because they're constantly messing with your nervous system and putting you in the fight and flight emotionally. And if they're financially abusing you, it's even more. And depending on where you stand financially, it could be extraordinarily frightening. I've been there. Right. After narcissistic abuse, having all my resources uh, <laughs> pillaged, you know, um, under a manipulation, under a complete attack, not being able to earn because money's an energy. So I need you to know the truth because someone just made a comment on my last video and said more money, more problems. Right. And this is not to single you out in a negative way. Please post your comments, especially if you think at any time oh, I, I'm embarrassed to post this. I don't know if I'll look stupid because I bet you a lot of people are thinking what you think is stupid. I bet you I've thought it at certain times and there are several issues that we need to surface here and I will literally bring you into the light over, right? Money is one of them. There are narcissistic structures in our society that has kept 1% of the population rich and the rest of the population, not even middle class, pretty much fairly paycheck to paycheck and poor. Money is an energetic response. Money responds to energy. Rich people know this. I've trained many CEOs. I've worked around some of the biggest companies in the world and been their trainer. Yeah. Money is not what you think it is. We've got such terrible and the narcissist, by the way, plays on every unconscious wrong thought you have about money. Money is a neutral energy and it's whatever you project on it, right? So in actuality, money is an amplifier. If you are a shitty person with more money, you can do more shitty things. But guess what? If you're a good person, then with money, you'll change the world. It is so important at this time in history that more people with good hearts, whole hearts, with social conscience and purpose at the heart of their businesses, right, and lives actually change out of their unconscious programmed limitations about what they believe about money and know the truth about money, which is that the law of attraction and assumption in quantum physics is exactly determining what you're going to attract, as is your financial blueprint, which can be changed. I was self-made. I was very successful, went through um, loads of narcissistic abuse when I changed companies and went into severe poverty, total financial crisis for years, absolutely terrible, to the point where now I'm in so much lack and loss, the narcissistic abuse had programmed my mind completely out of my former self. I couldn't connect to her. She didn't exist anymore, the one that moved countries, the one that like was wealthy or you know did well. I, I, I couldn't connect to it. I couldn't even believe in myself. I couldn't believe in money. I was scared to spend anything. I was having severe anxiety at bills. I, I couldn't pay things. I went homeless twice. Like it was terrible. And then how do you trust yourself? How do you trust yourself to pay a bill? How do I think I'm worth it anymore? How is anything? And the narcissist loved to, by the way, tear me apart because I had been very good at my work my whole life. I'm a hard worker, like you can tell, and I'm good at what I do. But after this abuse, I doubted everything about myself. Yeah. Isn't that a great place to detonate a human being that's here to do great things on the planet? And not only that, I was going through immense poverty, like terrible. 
uh, to the point where every day I lived in fear because if anything else went wrong, there's no way I could have dealt with it. And I was barely keeping a roof over my head and sometimes not even food. And I hated that because, you know, like I would teach people like you don't need much in life, move your energy. But like, so if you don't have anything, I would teach you, look, just, just come into yourself, do something you can do. Take a walk, fresh air, have a bath, make yourself a nice meal. When you can't eat fresh food because you haven't got any money to, that is like the, the core thing of like, why am I, I'm not even really surviving here. I can't even eat something I like. I couldn't even cook a nice meal. And I was living on food that I would never have normally chosen. I've put on weight um, in the last couple of years. And I think part of that is just my, I'm letting Ellie be Ellie. And for a while she couldn't eat what she wanted. And now she gets to eat whatever she wants, whatever she wants. And, you know, I'm not, I, this is what I say about self-partnership and self-relationship right people could say well self-love would be that you would be as fit and healthy as you've always been but there's a little girl in me that went for years without being able to go out and eat and actually not even go out and eat she was eating food that she hated like just living on ramen noodles that she would never have eaten in a normal world you know what I mean when I like to eat fresh fruits and I like to eat salads I like to eat natural foods I could they're much more expensive than shit yeah not saying if you eat those things, they're shit. I had a beautiful bowl of ramen noodles the other day. I'm just saying that for me, my soul was dying. Like, what the heck has happened? I've eaten some of the best restaurants in the world, and now I can't even afford any kind of food. And I'm living on food that I don't even enjoy. Just And I, it's making me... It's, how do you be happy there? And I had to find a way. So I always teach people, you can always give yourself what you need. But I know a lot about financial stuff. I know a lot about trauma. And I put... Actually, I have a course on my website because I've worked with many people. When so I healed this, right, so I could get my abundance back because I had to start trusting life and money again. Not just my worth, but like that if I bought something, would the whole thing fall apart? Could I enjoy my money? Now I spend abundantly and I, I'm a match for receiving it. It's an energetic thing in the universe. Rich people know this, by the way. They know the energetics of money and you don't. You think the way you think is the way it is. You think it's predictable. It's not. It's energetic. When you shift money, you are a magnet to abundance. If you are an entrepreneur, or even if you're not, or at a point in your healing journey where you're actually not feeling like sovereign is for you, I have a, I have a few courses on my website. They are self-study. I'm not live in them and I don't need to be, but they're very extensive. One of those courses, if you go to elliefrost.com, is called Money Magic. That course is all about healing relationship trauma with money, all trauma about money, and manifesting money in big ways. I've taken many people through that course and radical transformation in the area of money. It's a focused course on money. I do other things and I have done for years. And because I had such financial trauma, money trauma specifically, um, it was just so much lack, so much loss, so much fear. I had to heal that too. So I, I, sovereign is all about authentic power, sovereign self, right? Money magic is all about law of attraction, manifesting money, energetic match in the universe and healing every relational trauma you've got with money, which de de is very related to our relationship with others and ourselves. So interesting, you know, for me in my life, when I'm happy, I'm very abundant. When I'm detonated, it's hard for me to earn, not because I change in what I can, well, my energy changes, you know, when your energy is, that's why everything's energetic. Money's an energetic. This is an absolute truth. It's a universal law. It's quantum physics. It's, it's, as, it's as definite as gravity. It's as definite as this. That's the law of gravity. There are universal laws in the universe that things respond to. One of them's the law of attraction. One of them's the law of assumption. Money responds to that. So your thinking and feelings about money are keeping you at a certain level. Yeah, just like we work with every other area. So there's many things I can teach you and I've got other things. But if you're if you're wanting to talk about money, money magic, that radically shit. I had to radically, I did it fast as well. But I mean, the hardest thing about doing that fast was... It didn't matter what I'd done in the past because I couldn't connect to that person or that version of me anymore. I integrated her and I healed her in the way I teach people. I never teach us to forget what we've been through, but we have to integrate from where we are now. But I had to start treating money. I had to know the truth about money. And then I had to reform my relationship with it because that was a relationship that I no longer had any trust in. I felt betrayed by money. I felt hurt by money. I felt, you know, we, we actually feel this way about money. And money is just the middle man. It's a tool, right? 
but the trauma I went through because of money, like literally being in a foreign country. So if I can't, I can't, you know, I have to work because like, I'm not allowed to get a job. I don't have any right to welfare, no right to housing, right? At the worst times of my life where I'm needing to heal and I'm my body, I'm not sleeping for months on end. I am so traumatized. I mean, God gave me so many gifts in this. Yeah. But like, I, I went through extremes massive extremes and I had to get myself out and I did not know how at the time which is why I've put together these tools that are rapid transformational tools right because they are the biz like my stuff it, it, the things happen in people's lives in my work are extraordinary they radically never look the same I'm not saying that to be boastful because I'm not boastful but I'm just going to tell you the truth I spent so long not owning the power of what I do is extraordinarily powerful, right? Because I'm holding an energetic in everything, even the self-study courses. People have gone through these things over the last few years, over and over again. I've got people that work in huge companies that use that money magic work that I still take through it, right? So like, understand like this is amazing stuff that is not available to the mainstream. And my thing is I'm putting it in the masses. I want every single person on the planet, no discrimination, not just people who are wealthy, but people who are wealthy go through narcissistic abuse. But these resources should be known to us. They're your right. Your right is emotional intelligence. Your right is to know the truth about money. Some people in the, in the, in the elite do not want you to know the truth about money because they want to keep it to themselves and keep this dynamic going in the world. What happens when you get rich? You get healthy, you get free, and you'll do great things on the planet. Money in the hands of good people is one of the most important shifts on the world, which is why I stand for it. Money is an amplifier. If you're shitty, you'll do more shitty things. But if you're good, you'll change the world. Resources need to be changed. We need to change this. That's why I do believe I do believe it's worth you shifting your abundance, energetic and mindset, losing the old programs, because even if you don't want a lot of money for yourself, right, that doesn't matter. Give it to the people who need it. Money doesn't go where it's needed in our world, right? There's plenty of countries and places where money's very needed. It doesn't go there. It goes there where it's desired and where the energetic is abundant. That, right. So if everybody on everybody on this planet, if they understand energetics, can manifest money differently. You've been caught in a trap there, too. And the narcissist plays. This is one of the biggest issues in our society as a whole. Right. One of the biggest lies. And the narcissist is playing on that existing paradigm. Plus um, the biggest trap of your life, the most scariest one. How will I survive? It's real. You know. How will I eat? How will I have a roof over my head? How will I feed my children? What, you know, that worry every day, the financial worry can literally, I mean, it, it, it can kill you, like literally, because it, it's the, it's, it's our biggest one, our, in, our complete survival. And we've linked that to money, but money isn't the thing, yeah, that is causing that. It's the programming. It's the energetic it's what it's doing to us so that we can't see the truth. Money's another area. Money magic is on my course. You can self-study it. There is a payment plan on that one. Um, but I mean, it's, it's revolutionary work. And I've, I've run that money magic course with people now for three years, massive results, huge results. And I have one-on-one -on -one clients that they come to me just for abundance work because like I will shift their abundance on the planet. And I mean it, but I only work with socially conscious people. I don't work with people who are here to create shitty things or are not in integrity and alignment with humanity. They're not my clients. They never have been, right? So I want you to know, if you just take one thing from this, I'm not going to tell, I mean, you know, you've been financially abused by a narcissist. They play on money because it plays on your survival. And then they'll, they'll, I mean, my dad, for example, you know, like, it's always like, they'll link your self-worth to money as well. Like you're not, and narcissists care about their reputation and how everything looks more than anything else. So if you don't have money or not enough money, you're not flashy or whatever, they'll make you feel like a piece of crap. Your money does not define you. It's got nothing to do with your self-worth. Money is a neutral energy that is a tool. It's just a tool. Don't put all your shit on money. It's not money's fault. Decide to break these paradigms. I'll do more on money on here because I feel like more money in the hands of good people will change the world. That's what we're here to do. Shift the shit. Very good comment. I'm not singling anyone out. That idea of more money, more problems is not true. It's just a very widely said thing, right, that's keeping us stuck. A lot of what we've been told about money is untrue. It's untrue.
It's built to keep you stuck by rich people who have not got the best intentions sometimes, right? Because the true social entrepreneurs that I know, they don't talk about money in that way at all. Money is the greatest thing they can use to change the world because we live in a physical world where we need money. Money changes the world in the right hands. We're not here to hate on money. Let's hate on the systems and the programs that have not been, not hate on them, but you know what I mean? Let's be aware of what the real thing is. And, and it is not true what people have told you about money. Money is, an, is an, a response to your energy more than anything else. Anyone, anyone, no matter how intelligent or however you feel about your intelligence, it's not about intelligence. It's not about social class. You can come from nothing and make a lot of money. It's not about any of that. It's being an energetic match in the universe, which should free you more than anything else, knowing that knowledge. And it's as simple and as true. Where's my leaf? I'll take my dog's toy. It's as true as gravity. Yeah, this is the law of gravity. There is a law of attraction and the law of assumption. And if you use that towards money, once you're not traumatized, you know, so you can be in a, well, you can do it in trauma. I did. Yeah, but when your back's up against the wall, it's harder. When you understand this, <laughs> money is not uh, uh, something to be scared of. It's something you trust. It's something you have a deep devotion, relationship and respect to. Hey, in the scriptures, God talks about abundance, the kingdom of heaven on earth. He didn't say the poor house. No religious teaching tells you to live in the poor house. We have been duped by society and the narcissist just plays on all these unconscious programs. If you want to do money magic, go to my website. That course will also change your life. If your particular focus right now is money and abundance, I've got that. And I've also got one called Living from Abundance, which is a, is, is a lighter course to shift your frequency to the abundance frequency. Those two courses are about abundance and money. I've run them with people for years, big people, small people, people starting up, people broke, people rich. Everyone has done those courses because everyone wants to expand into more abundance, right? And they work. Everything works, okay? It's the best I've got. It's taken me years of development. I'm not, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only saying it to be truthful. I've, I've not said it for too long. This stuff will change your life and get you free, get you healthy, get you abundant. That's exactly what to do. And then we change the world because if you don't have any resources, you've got no health, you've got no vitality, you've got no energy and you've got no money. What can we do? Nothing. That's what some people want for you, right? And it keeps the trap. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the hardest people on the planet to control are the ones who's happy and free. And when you're happy and free, all you want to do is give, 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 contribute, contribute, contribute. And yes, have a beautiful life for yourself. It doesn't have to. So I teach about abundance. It doesn't have to be I either have to have a good life or I help people. It can be I have a good life and I help people. And I've got more to give because I'm now full and overflowing, which is what I'm talking about and where I'm at. That's abundance. And the abundance frequency is and not sacrifice, not compromise, none of it. More, I get to be more of me, you get to be more of you. I get to be abundant and share and give. And it just, anything in this universe energetically multiplies. So the, the narcissist gets worse. And if you're in abundance, you get more and more and more and more and more. Better and better and better. It's a whole different shift. But those two things I also radically shifted in my life. And in the end, if you look at how bad it was, I'd say pretty fast. Not because of what I necessarily knew before, because I hadn't been through chronic poverty at that level before and what was going on in my body. But again, it was a body energetic shift more than it was. And understanding the truth about money energetically was what shifted that. All rich people know the truth about money energetically, whether they say it or not. They know. They know. And there are people on this planet who definitely don't want you to know. So, um... Yes, Money Magic. Check out what's on that uh, website because there's other things I've been doing for years with people. So, um, and Sovereign. Keep commenting. Don't ever feel too stupid in what you say. I'm sure I thought whatever you're thinking right now at some point, you know what I mean? And whatever you're thinking will spur me into making sure you're getting what you need. All right, my loves, lots of love. I'll speak to you soon.